Chris around here somewhere. Guys, a few loads of gravel right there. More up there. That's all going in the basement today. The steel is finished for now. Hello. You got all the gravel in here yet? Well, I tried, but uh, I couldn't get in here. You couldn't get in here? Uh-uh. You just needed some advice on how Some to, guidance. Some guidance. I like that better. Learning with Let's Dig. Learning with Let's Dig. There's my helpers hard at work. Hard at work. Getting lunch orders, you know. Oh. Oh, priorities. The important 7 stuff. 7.30 in the morning. The important stuff. in the morning, then we are already cleaning out work. See, that looks like that's a leader right there. What are you always doing? I'm trying to help out. You always show up, and what do you do to my plans? Just tell them. Don't lie. Uh, this is your plan, and I go. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. Exactly. Every time. And you Every get frustrated time. for some reason now. And then it comes, it, it, it comes back. It's just initially... My initial frustration is, but I had a plan. You had a plan. And then I'll tell you why we're going to do it, because I'm here. Yeah. Then we do it, kind of, whichever works. Tornado proof, hurricane proof, is it skid steer proof? And he's going up. We got a safety net down here if yeah. you fall. Yeah. Stop to fall on me in this ground. Yeah. Just don't look down.
thing doesn't have a lot of power, does it? Hmm. That's all still got to come up, so we're kind of... Yeah. So see, that's one of the things that... Here. One of the things I wanted to do when we started this project was work with the various manufacturers, you know, because all the manufacturers and all their different products, you know, they have to train people somehow. And usually most of it, you know, if, if they're lucky, it's on the job training with, you know, as we would call it like a, I get a master tool or whatever they call them, I can't remember anymore, but you know, you would be an apprentice, that kind of thing. So. Um, one of the things we wanted to do was provide, hey, here's a place, come do some training, yada, yada, yada. So that's worked out great on the Nadura stuff. And then like John's building his own uh, really cool place uh, that we'll go up and do a little bit of help and film out too. But you know, see, he gets to come out here and get some hands on before tackling his project, which probably would have been smart for me to do somewhere. But, you know, here we are. So. He's coming along. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while. So, uh, I think we got 10 loads of 200 tons, I think, if I'm right, uh, to go in here, so. All right. Getting it done. So that's close. Of course, we'll still have to compact it and everything, but and do a little raking. Vapor barrier, foam, rebar, and concrete. So we come up about six inches above what that is now. It's final, final. Great done.
<laughs> John. Gonna direct Chris where other people would probably just dump it in a pile and say good mm -hmm. luck. He's gonna use his 220 from 30 feet up in there and spread it for us. As long as I don't die from getting hit by rocks. That's pretty cool. That is <laughs> That is skill. All right, so all this is done. Looks like a totally different place. Isn't that crazy? One little bit of stuff. So I'll still have to do some finalizing and stuff, but since we still have to put the, you know, we have to rake it back, put the plumbing in, set all that stuff up, yada, yada, yada. You know, but this is, this is still pretty close. So that's great. And I am glad I did what I did over here because you know the plans call for me just to do like a footing here so none of this would have had any concrete but now since this is going to be this is just the platform for the stairs and the stairs still come out into the area i think it's this side because that's why the poles here you got a post you don't really see it gets covered up wall goes here and you have stairs but i'm thinking about having these stairs made out of metal and uh do something kind of cool we'll see see what happens with that this is close, so six inches higher, roughly, than uh, where I'm standing now will be final grade, but we're getting there. We're getting real close. Let's see, he's got a little bit piled up here in the corner, so I'll stand on that. Yeah, that's pretty close, though. Pretty close. Nice. Steel's all up. And a few things we'll have to do on that. The second floor I've already talked about, just in case. Can't co go in because all the rest of what goes on the second floor actually sits on the walls for the second floor. So we'll have to get that done. The super floor flooring is being delivered today. Guy's still a couple hundred miles out. Uh, so, but that'll be the next thing we do. So Chris from Trimco that owns an Endura that came out on the concrete pour, he's coming back. His specialty actually is the waterproofing, so we're gonna do some videos on how all that gets done. And so like I said, it'll be a combination. Of that The main three things going on next are waterproofing, setting the floor, and finishing out the pools. Uh, we've got somebody coming back that's gonna, we're gonna be showing some of their work on that. And uh, once all the floor is set, then we will go up with the next floor and you'll see that. So we'll keep on keeping on, but not sure when this video will come out. It'll definitely be after July 4th because I've got another video still to put out, the one I'm putting the steel up. So, but still hope everybody had a great 4th. If you're in the UK, hope y'all had a happy treason day. So, see y'all later. All right, good morning. It's Independence Day, July 4th. And uh, I was gonna take the day off because uh, yesterday was nine days straight, including four day. I've been going and uh, well, morning. morning. Don't you ever take a day off? Do I? Don't you ever take a day off? Well, if you start early, you get to go home early. Oh. Life lessons with Chris. Enjoy your evenings, not your mornings. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I told you I wanted to leave at lunchtime. I know. I might leave at 11 now, because we're rocking and rolling. I looked on the camera. I didn't see y'all. I would have been down earlier. Sure. I did. Baby sleep. Yeah, I didn't even get my video. Well, I'll have it on my handy dandy Rio Link camera yeah. of you uh, bringing it in. We just drove through the door. There you go. Oh, you used the uh, minimizer? The That's minimizer. come in handy, right? Yeah. The, the shrinker? Teleporter. Yeah. What happened was we took it apart real quick and put it back together. I guess uh, those screws are just all gone. Well, you know what? What? Couldn't find the magnet. I got all the boards out. Oh. Look, I even got all the woods out. Oh. Uh, we even got the corner out that James couldn't get out. All the wood. Yeah. We got all that removed. Yeah. What do you think, Robert? So you're thinking it's home. It's pretty cool, right? It's kind of nice. Your two pounds of screws are gone. You're in back there. Now, I'll just have to take that out of Tater's pay. I guess you have. I mean, I don't know why they left stuff just laying in the ground. Down.
Dun, 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 dun. We do not own the rights to that music. It's so weird. I mean, that's a lot of gravel. Don't go in it. Oh my goodness. Huh? Isn't that wild? All done. Oh, yeah, I need to put the transit up anyway for today. What do you think? Are you impressed? It looks smaller now because I'm so leveled. It's so small. S and all. I'm going to pretend like I didn't even hear you say that. I'm going I'm to forget those words. <laughs> Where's the den that goes down here? So you see this? This is where a wall is. Yeah. Okay. This wall is where the doorway is that goes into the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. This post gets hidden in a wall yeah. that runs from here. Okay. Yeah. And this is the den. Okay. Cool. And then this is the den bath. And then this is a mechanical room. Okay. Which is where we'll have one of the air handlers and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah blah, blah. And this is where the stairs is? This is where the stairs are. Are, sorry, is. this is where the stairs are. Like is. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the stairs are. So there's a, this, will, this is supposed to get a wall. Uh-huh. We're supposed to get a wall because that was supposed to be storage, but so we don't have to do a wall here. Put a nice little We'll just put a nice covering thing for yeah. it that has to go goes with our stairs, I guess. Agreed. And railing and crap. Aww. This is the post we were always gonna see. This is the one we were supposed to see. Okay. Okay. And then what about these, two? these two are the ones that we wouldn't have seen because they were gonna be the back wall of the pool bath, but now we will see them since the pool bath's gonna go off that way, and this is the game room. So this is what we're talking about casing in and putting like a table, a bar top table around it so you could set drinks and stuff. Oh, that's so smart. <laughs> See? That's a good idea. Right? I was just about to be crushed and be like, oh my God, we're seeing all these poles. It's like it's a strip club with all the poles. <laughs> Got to pay for it somehow. <laughs> and then uh, this is the pool bath now. So one column you do see, well, we won't see it because we're going to hide this in the lockers where people can put, you know, when they're changing and stuff. Yeah. So you won't, it'll be part of the built-in. And then this is the mechanical room. Yeah. And that's it. See, we're already done. Oh, the theater's back there. Yeah, I know the theater back there. Yeah. And so we have all that space for the side-by-side -side sitting that we don't have designated for anything really. I mean, this is game game rooms well, here. We need to have TVs put somewhere. Yeah. You know. Okay. So it makes sense to put the TV against that wall right here with like. She's already planning the TVs. A big. I love it. Yeah, I want a TV, like a TV wall. Well, originally that was going to be the rec room, but now that we've opened all this up, yeah, we don't have to concern ourselves as much. But remember, there will be a wall somewhere in here. Yeah. Ish. But yeah, I mean that could. So we could put the TV there and the couches there. Yeah. Because then that would be kind of out of the way. Correct. See, she gets involved when she can start to see things. And we just need to maneuver. Like an outdoor TV too, like here under on the deck area. What about that big wall over there? Well, that's going to be decorative. We're going to put some sort of like water thing there. I thought. Decorative. Yeah. We're going to decorate it with the TV. Oh. Okay. No, I mean, whatever. We got that wall too, but that's well, kind of small. Like the covered it doesn't area. matter. We're going to have an outdoor TV. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sponsored by Convergence Technologies. <laughs> um, 
Well, we've got this retaining wall that goes there. So down there is where I was talking. And then we've got a retaining wall over there. So remember, this is all patio. Mm -hmm. And you've got a wall over there before you ever get to the dirt. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking we'd have like water features and stuff over there, but whatever. You know what? We got plenty of time to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? I'm very tired, yeah. Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had a long day of work. Yeah. Started early, number one. Number two, cooked a meal. You did cook a meal. Number it was good, too. It was, three, some, that, it was skitty. Is that on fire? Yeah. Oh. It's that log that we've been trying to burn for two years. Number three. It just won't go away. I went out to get everyone lunch. Hmm. You did. Yep. I see ripples. Are those, are those little things in the water? What are they called? Muskrats? Yeah. Makes me think of that, that song. Isn't there a muskrat love? Yes, yes, yes. And we got two muskrats that are lovers in our ponds. Hmm. I mean, who would even make that song? What's that even supposed to be? I don't all right, so uh, yeah, so that's done. Uh, Nick Rubel at Superfloor hooked me up uh, through Drew Turner, who you all have seen before. He's the hookup for Nadura, if you need any of that. And uh, see if I can maneuver around. Pull that mirror in a little bit, so I can see. More? A little bit more. Oh, there we go. I think we'll be all right. Crunch, but. You want me to drive? <laughs> <laughs> no. You should have seen Chris in here maneuvering through all these today. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs>